y'all so we're back and what we're gonna do is we're gonna play clips of the interrogation mm -hmm. between uh gypsy rose uh when her mother passed and she was just arrested mm -hmm. um because we really want to bring awareness yeah because i feel like a lot of people have the perception that she is not who she is mm -hmm. because they haven't seen this interrogation so if you guys see it we believe that you guys will be able to see the true gypsy mm -hmm. and see what she's been about all and, this time. And then also, like, the interrogation was, you know, how many years ago? I think people may have forgotten. That, too. Yeah. I think a lot of people haven't seen it yeah. because I didn't see it. And I didn't think she, I didn't realize what it was mm -hmm. until I saw her interrogation and Nicholas Godeshan's interrogation mm. was when that was an eye-opening moment for me, especially mm -hmm. hers. Yeah. And so I think it's really important for you guys to see it. We're gonna mm -hmm. definitely be making commentary throughout it. Mm -hmm. It's kind of funny, but not funny because someone lost their life. But yeah. Yeah. we'll be mindful of that. But yeah. you know. Yeah. And she just said in her la in a video with the makeup artist that did her makeup, she didn't know the Gen Z words like slay, mother. Lies. The fact that those two words were what she chose to yeah. use uh -huh. was wild. <laughs> wild. <laughs> Am I right? Ooh, or child. what? Girl, I, she all over the place. She has my brain scrambled, so I don't even know. And just so you know, she mm -hmm. just blocked me. You can't hold me down. <laughs> I have to admit, y'all love is real strong. Not it's, my love, girl. Your, I don't love that girl. passion for one another is, is really... I hope to find a love like that. <laughs> Hell no, friend, go right to H-E-M-O. I don't love that girl. I don't know that girl. I just know her crime and her narcissistic tendencies. I don't know that girl. All right. Okay, where are we going to start? Rose, when you came up here, did you bring the package of clothing with you? I did. I brought a suitcase and I brought a backpack. You brought a suitcase and a backpack. Was there any medications or anything in the suitcase or the backpack? Um, there was some, um, some pain pills. I just took okay. my medicine like I was supposed okay. to. Okay. <laughs> Alright. Are you doing good right now? you need any water? Or um, any? Some water would be nice. Okay, so why don't you step on out here? We'll, we'll get you some water. Do you need to use the restroom at all? Okay, that's the only real huge. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Let me get your rose. Deputy Dorm here is going to be taking care of you. I'm going to take you up. Hey, how are you? I'm going to take you up to the hospital, but i got to ask you to stand up, please. I'm going to get you looked at. Can you, can you turn around, put your arms out? Stay right here. What do you want to talk to you just for a second? You want to sit? Yeah. Just, just, just take a second here.
Hey, Gypsy. Is this Stan? Hi, Gypsy. What you guys Hi. talk? I'm Detective Hancock. I'm with Green County Sheriff's Office. How are you today? Good. Doing all right? Good. Good. Well, Gypsy, I'm here and I'm going to get a little bit of information from you. So, um, since this is the first time I've ever met you, okay? So, um, what is the correct spelling of your first name? It's G Y P S Y R O S E. And my middle initial is A. Okay. And my last name is B L A N C H A R D. B L A N C H A. B L A N C H A R D E is Blanchard. Blanchard. Okay, with an E. Okay. All right. And your date of birth, Gypsy? Is seven twenty seven. 1995. On here they have, um, okay, I will... one because, um, it's a long story, but, okay, sure. um, me and my mother are Hurricane Katrina survivors. Okay. And, um, my birth certificate was washed away in Katrina. Okay. And, um, unfortunately, uh, they messed up, a long time ago, they messed up the paperwork and it said 1991, but it's actually 95. Okay. And that puts you at how old then? Um, I would be a really 19 but on here it's my um medicaid my medical insurance has 23. okay all right so how old actually are you let's get 19. that 19 okay <laughs> it's all screwed. yeah absolutely you said do you know your uh, social security number unfortunately i don't i brought my card with me but okay. um it's at my boyfriend's house okay we'll, we'll get with that later then all right um now how long have you actually lived there in missouri um in missouri since 2006. 2006? Mm -hmm. Okay. Right. Um, do you work anywhere? No. Okay. All right. Never have worked since you've been in Springfield? Did you work down in Louisiana or anything? No, sir. Okay. Do you have family down in Louisiana? Um, I have some, but um, unfortunately we're not on good speaking terms. Okay. All right. Yeah. And now, do you have any family here in Missouri? I'm sorry, we're in a different okay. state. So. <laughs> okay. Um, I have my mom that lives in Missouri. Okay. And is that it, or do you have anybody else? Um, does friends count, or not really? No, like biological, like brother or sister, siblings, nothing like that. Okay, so are you an only child then? Okay, all right. What's, what's some things that you like to do? I mean, what kind of hobbies do you like? Um, I love art. You love art? I love um, okay. to go to the movies. Um, I love animals. Okay. Um, just different things like that. Okay. Hmm. <sighs> Well, Gypsy, um, we are here investigating something, so I do need to talk with you about some things, okay? Um, I'm, I'm, I'm thankful because I have no idea why I'm here. Okay. Maybe nobody will tell me anything. Yeah, that's that's fine, and that's, that's kind of why we're here to kind of help you out with that, okay? So, um, I am going to I'll just read your Miranda to share real quick, okay? And as I'm reading this, I just if you don't understand something. I want you to stop me and say that you don't understand, okay? It's not being rude, it's not implied or anything, okay? And just let me know. Um, what, uh, how much schooling do you have? Um, unfortunately, I was homeschooled, but um, my education is kind of scattered, so I have the basic of a third grader. Okay. Do you know how to read and write okay and everything? Okay, good. Not so much spell very good, but I can read. Okay. Yeah. How would you say your comprehension level is? Good. Good. Okay. Okay. Um, you do have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to talk to your lawyer, have your lawyer present with you while you're being questioned. If you cannot afford to hire a lawyer, one will be appointed to represent you before any question, if you wish. You can decide at any time to exercise these rights and not answer any questions or make any statements. Did you understand everything that I read you? Okay. Um, do you have a cell phone number? No. No, not at all. Did you have a home phone? Um, my mom's home okay. phone. Okay, what's that number? 417-833-8501. Mm -hmm. Okay. Eight five zero one. Okay. Uh, do, do you ever do anything on the computer? Do you ever play games or anything on the computer? Do you ever mess with the computer or anything like that? Um, I don't really have a computer, okay. no. Did, did you ever have a cell phone that you played around on or anything like that? No. no. Okay. No laptop or... No. My mom, my mom didn't let me use one because she was like, it's unsafe. So oh, really? Okay. Oh, why did she feel like that was unsafe? Um, my mom tended to be overprotective. Okay. Did she? Um, yeah. Okay. All right. That's understandable. <clears throat> um, 
I want to tell you that, that what I've got to talk to you about, um, if, if you're involved in this, then you need to tell me that now. Okay? And, I'm completely 100% okay. honest. And let me, let me talk for just a second, okay? Mm -hmm. But if you're involved in this, then you need to be honest with me and you need to tell me now yes, and not sir. wait till later. Do yes, you understand sir. that? Yes, sir. Okay. I want you to understand that, that there's just some things going on um, that you need to be made aware of, and I think that you're aware of it, okay? okay. All right? Um, my, my concern at this point, um, let, me, let me back up with something. Um, you're, you're here, do you know where you're at right now? Yes. Okay, where are you at right now? Um, I'm at the Waukesha Police Department. Okay. All right, and how did you, did, you lived in Missouri at one point, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, and how did you get from Missouri to, to here? Not about a week ago, um, it was, um, I, well, it all started when um, I met my boyfriend, Nick. Okay. okay? And, um, we met on an online dating website. Um, my mom had a laptop, and so I used hers. Okay. But, um... Let me let me back up a second for just a second, okay? Uh, earlier when I said let's be honest with each other, okay? Mm -hmm. I'll be honest with you as long as you're honest with me, okay? Good. And I want you to understand that your honesty goes a long ways, mm -hmm. okay? You don't want something in, in this in this nature to be like a big snowball. We'll use yeah. that as an example, okay? You don't want that snowball to be so big mm -hmm. that you know how when you, when you pack a snowball and it's real small, mm -hmm. and what happens when you start rolling it down a hill? It's bigger. It's bigger. Okay, and what happens if you start telling lies? They, they get big, bigger and, bigger and you don't remember which ones you said and which right. ones you told. And as soon as that thing gets so big, it goes down the bottom of the hill and it crashes and it's into a lot of people. Right. Okay, mm -hmm. I mean a lot of people. Mm -hmm. All right, and it hurts a lot of people, right? Because it's so big and it crashes and hurts them. Right. Now, if if you're telling the truth, that's not going to happen, isn't that right? Right. Okay, so. Um, that, that's kind of why I want you to be honest with me about this, Absolutely. okay, about some things, all right? Absolutely. So, um, we need to, I'm here, okay, mm -hmm. because I, I don't think that, that this is something that you, um, the attention is not, wasn't there, you know, I don't think you're a bad person. Oh, I really you. don't. I think that you're a smart, smart person, okay? I think that you, <clears throat> you know, sometimes you get a bad hand, and I think sometimes that's what's happened with you, okay? Um, and, and I want you to understand that um, you need to be honest with me. And, and if you're involved in anything that I'm about ready to tell you, then you need to tell me. Okay? Um, your mom's dead. Okay? Now, what I want to ask you Wait, well, is what, what, what? Your, your mom's your mom's passed away. Okay? And she's deceased. All right? Now, what I want to ask you, did you have involvement in this? Okay? Then, no. Hang on. Hang on. <laughs> hang on. Listen to me for just a second. Okay? I want you to understand something, okay? Remember the snowball that we talked about? You remember the, the pencil that we talked about? I'm going to almost demonstrate something with a pencil here, okay? Look at me. Look at me for just a second, okay? Sometimes people are going along. You know how you got a pencil? You got the lead here and you got the eraser right here, right? You know what I'm talking about? You've seen a pencil, right? You've used a pencil before, right? Okay? And when you write with a pencil, you write your own story, right? Okay? And you take that pencil and you're writing along with your story. Well, sometimes some people make mistakes when they write stuff down, don't they? We've all made mistakes. You've made mistakes. I've made mistakes, right? You ever, you ever made a mistake in your life? Yeah. And I've made mistakes in my life. And hang, hang on just a second, okay? When, you, when you're writing this stuff down, all of a sudden you make a mistake. Well, what do you do with that mistake? You take that pencil and you flip it over and you start erasing stuff, okay? And you erase it and you recorrect it. And you take that pencil and then you rewrite your history, your story, okay? Uh -huh. And I kind of think that's where you're at with this tonight, okay? Uh -huh. That you have a chance to rewrite your story. And I think that that's what you can do is you can rewrite your story tonight, okay? I, like I said earlier, I don't think you're a bad person. I really don't. You know, I don't think that that's you at all. And you're not out here, you know, doing things that are so bad that nobody wants to talk to you, nobody wants to be around you. I don't think that's you. Okay? But what I do think, okay, what I do think is there's some stuff going on that you, that you and I need to talk about mm -hmm. and why these things happen, okay? Mm -hmm. And that's where we're at with this, okay? Now, I want you to understand something that you need to, you need to be, look at me, okay? Look at me for just a second, okay? You're in a situation where you can help yourself right now, okay? okay. And, and that's what you need to do. 
okay? You've got to help yourself, okay? Uh -huh. Because the more and more you let that snowball roll down that hill and get bigger, what's going to happen is going to explode. And that's what's going to happen with you, you know. You don't want that, do you? I don't think you do. I wouldn't want that. So we've got to rewrite history. We've got to rewrite some things, don't we? Okay. And I think that's where we're at with all this, right? What happened with your mom that night? I don't know. What happened with my mom at all? Okay. You, let's listen to me, okay, sweetheart? You know what happened to your mom. Okay, you know exactly, I, I, sweetheart. I, I, listen to me. Let's let's not go down that road of taking your pencil and writing a bunch of mistakes down. And then when you get to a certain point, that paper's gone. And guess what? You can't erase it, can you? No. You can't erase it anymore. Do you want that? No. I don't think you do. I think you're smart enough to understand where we're at with this. Okay. I think you know. Okay. And I know that you know. All right. I wouldn't be here if I didn't know. And I know the answer to a lot of these questions, okay? I already know them, okay? I know them, and I'm giving you a chance to be honest with me, okay? Because you don't want this thing to spiral out of control, okay? No, no, no. Your, your boyfriend's in here, okay? Uh -huh. well, he's here. He's, he's in here, mm -hmm. okay? All right? Mm -hmm. And do you think that we've not talked to people? No, I, 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 I know. Let's, listen to me before you say a whole lot. Do not dig yourself up in a bunch of lies, because what's going to happen, that snowball's going to get so huge, sweetheart, that it's going to explode on you, and you're never, ever going to dig yourself out of it. Do you understand me? I understand. I understand. So I, I want to know, okay, mm -hmm. why? 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 Why did you guys hurt your mom? Okay. We so, you would never Sweetheart, hurt look, look at me. Look at me. Look at me. Mm -hmm. I've got kids. Mm -hmm. I've been doing this for a long time. I know it's hard. <clears throat> and I want you to understand something. Mm -hmm. Don't dig yourself out. Don't go down that path, okay? Because mm -hmm. listen to me for a second. <clears throat> you go down that path, and what's going to happen? What do you think is going to happen if you go down that path? It's not a path to go if, down. If anything, I, I don't tell lies. Okay, then, then don't, I, don't sit here and lie to me, because if you do, What's going to happen is it's going to get bigger and bigger and bigger. You're not going to remember the ones that you've told other people, okay? Other people that I've probably already talked to. You understand that? I understand. Okay. Um, why? Why? Would you like to start from the beginning? I only want you to start from the beginning, but I want, we'll talk about that here in a minute. And I'm mm -hmm. glad you're making that, that, that mm -hmm. progress, okay? I'm proud of you for that. But the first thing that we need to get out of the, out of the way right now is mm -hmm. why. That's the biggest thing. Do you have, you, you know, you've I've got been, friends. You've got friends that yes, love you. Of course, and I, care know. For you. I know. You, and, you and your mom yes, have friends that care for you. I and know. They're, you know what? They're down there, down the bottom of the hill with that snowball, mm -hmm. and they're they're asking all these questions. They're asking why. I know. I know. Now, help me give them an answer as to why. Okay. I, you have to give me an answer as to why because they are so concerned about you. I know. Um, I have a lot of friends in Missouri. I know that. Okay. And, um, I would never hurt my mom. Okay, sweetheart, like, do you really want to dig yourself, you're, you're digging yourself deeper, okay? No, seriously, I would never listen, hurt listen her. Listen to me, listen to me, okay? I, I don't, I don't play around with that, okay? I'm not going to play around with this, okay? Sir, I didn't do listen anything. Listen to me, listen to me. Don't let that snowball get bigger, because that's what you're doing right now. Okay, you, you have a chance, you have the opportunity right here and right now. Because mm -hmm. once I walk out that door and that opportunity's gone, guess what? It's gone. Okay. It's just like when that paper's taken away, when you're writing that pencil, you don't have a chance to erase that mistake. Okay. You need to, in your family, in your friends, you don't have very many family members, but you've got a lot of friends. And we've talked to them all, okay? And every one of them want to know why. That's all they want to know. They, they, don't, they still love you. They still care about you. They st Listen to me. Listen to me for just a second, okay? All they want to know is why. And I, and I have to give that to them because they can't sleep at night. Because they want to know why. That's all they want to know. Okay? That, that's all they're looking at. Sir, I have a million questions right now. Okay. And, so. and you know what? And I'm proud of you for wanting to ask those million questions. And you know what? We can answer those, okay? Okay. But we gotta get down to the bottom of why. Okay. Okay. The why. And your fam 
your friends mm-hmm. are very, very concerned about you. They all love you. But guess what? Sure. Those friends are standing at the bottom of that hill. I understand. And that snowball <clears throat> is getting ready to crush them because they I, want, they I mean, want to know why. I think very, very clearly. You think that it's me? Why do you uh, think that it's me? I have always listen, loved listen my mom. Me. My mom and I are best listen, friends. Listen to me. Listen to me. Please don't do yourself an insult. And then that's what you're doing. You're still doing it. Okay. <clears throat> what do you think? Do you not think that we've already talked to some people? Okay. Do you not think that we've talked to everybody? I mean, we, I'm not going to come in here with without having all my things in line. Okay. I want you to understand that. Of course, okay? I understand that. And we need to get to the why. When we get to the why, then all these other questions I can answer for you, and we can get it and move on with this, okay? And you're, you're the person that knows the why. You're the only person that knows the why, okay? And, and that's where we're at with it. You're the only one that knows the why, and you're and your friends. Sir? Do you really want to disappoint your friends? No, of course not. Okay, then why? But may I please speak? Well, when we get to the why this happened? I don't... I don't even really know what happened. Okay. I I came here because my mother came out of my house. She and I were having relationship problems. Um, I guess she wanted me to stay with her girl forever. She didn't really like my boyfriend. Um, and she was like pretty much, um, if you want to move to Wisconsin with him, fine, go. And I packed my stuff. Um, she basically wanted me out of the house before then because we kept on having arguments. But I'm not a violent person. I would never, ever hurt her. And um, and a lot of our arguments stemmed from being with Nick. And so I just basically chose to come here. I gave him money to come here. And... Um, and I said, can you please come pick me up? Because my mom's kicking me out of the house real soon. And that's when he asked his mom, can, can I stay with his mom and him and his stepdad and his little brother? His mom said, fine. So um, anyway, uh, I don't exactly know the exact date he came to Springfield, but I know that I gave him the money to stay at a hotel. And um, anyway, I let him know that... Um, hey, hey, um, Okay, we're, we're going in a totally different direction here, okay? We're going to get back to where we started from, mm-hmm. okay? I... You, you listen to me, okay? Let's get back to the why. I, 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 we can talk all night long about this other stuff, and I'll sit here and I'll listen to you, and I'll listen to everything. I, this investigation is very thorough, okay? And there's a lot of whys, and mm-hmm. you, you, you need to answer those whys, okay? Give, your, give yourself. What about yourself? Give yourself the peace that you need. You need a lot of peace with inside of you, okay? You, you, you know, once you get this off your chest, you know, you're going to feel a lot better about yourself, first of all, okay? And your your friends, okay? My friends know me as a sweet yeah, you're right. and as you're right. a But you know what? Sometimes sweet people make mistakes. Everybody does, okay? You make mistakes, I make mistakes. But you know what? I, I'm glad you're not this person that's out here going around and doing this to a lot of other people, okay? I'm glad you're not that person. If you are, I don't even want to talk to you. I don't even want to be in the same room with you if that's you, okay? But I think what it is, I think there's a lot of frustration in your life. I think you're, that you're, you know, there's some things that you and your mom, you know, you've already said that your mom, you kind of had some arguments and you kind of had some strained relationships, okay? But we worked and, through it. You know what? And you work through it. You're right, you do. But sometimes that can get the better of people, okay? And I think that's kind of where you're at with that. I think that, that your stress in your life because your mom wanted you to stay so little all the time finally got to a boiling point and you just said, you know what? I'm done. You know, no matter what, and mom, I'm going to go with my boyfriend. I'm going to do whatever I want now. Mm-hmm. You made a decision, mm-hmm. okay? Yeah. But we need to get to why this happened to your mom, okay? It, you know what? People make mistakes every day. You do. I do. We all do. We've established that. And I'm going to establish it every time because, you know what? That's what this is. It's just, it's just a mistake. That's all it is, okay? 
It's not something that's so huge out here. It's just, oh my gosh, it's it's a mistake. It's a simple little mistake. My mom. It's, it's just a simple little mistake is all it was, okay? I don't know what You know what? I don't know. You if think? I knew the basic facts of what is going on, um, Sweetheart. my friend, my friend had, um, I have, uh, um, I do have a phone, but it doesn't call people. I just basically used it for Yahoo messaging app, and, um, one of the people that had texted me, I had texted him that I was leaving home, and he texted me, and, um, he's like, are you okay? Um, people have been posting some stuff on Facebook, and I asked him what post, and unfortunately the police came before I could even read what he was saying. So I guess he was trying to tell me something. Okay. Do you see that that's what your friends, all your friends are wondering why? Mm -hmm. Even that friend that you're talking about mm -hmm. is wondering why? Mm -hmm. Aaliyah is worried about you? Aaliyah? Are you kidding me? Look at me. Look at me. Aaliyah has always been a bully to me. Okay, but look at me. This time is different. This time is a lot different. She's very concerned about you, sweetheart. Very. What about my Aunt Rachel? Okay. Why did this happen? I don't know. You do know why it happened. Okay. I don't know why it happened. Uh, let me tell you something. I walked out that door. I know. Did she have a heart attack? She was, okay. she was hey, sick. Hey, look at me. We're not, we're not going to play those games. I'm not going to do that. That's not what I'm here to do. Mm. Okay. Then start being honest with yourself. Then start being honest with me. No, you're not. Okay. You're not a bad person. I don't care what anybody's ever said to you. I don't care what I don't care what your family's ever done to you. I don't want care that, that maybe somebody's bullied you or made fun of you. Okay? Well, you know what? All that rage gets picked up inside. But that gets that gets so overwhelming to anybody. I don't care if it's you, me, somebody else. And you know I, what happens? You explode. Everybody does. I go to church. Okay. And I take yeah. communion and I release all of that. Okay. And, and that's fine. And that's and I'm, and I'm proud of you for that, okay? And that's something that you need to continue to do, okay? But there again, people make mistakes, okay? You know, Jesus got angry in the Bible, did he not? Yes. And flip the tables over, right? Yes, he did. Okay, so even he gets angry, mm -hmm. okay? But all your friends are still down here, mm -hmm. and all they want to know is why. They stand, they don't care about the details. They they just want to know why, and they're they're concerned for you, and they still love you, and they still care for you. Mm -hmm. Matter of fact, there's still a lot of people there for you. I know. And every one of them's asking me why, 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 why. Detective Hancock, why? Um, why? I, I don't know if you even know this, but um, my mom had guardianship papers for me um, because. I so she starts off mm -hmm. at the beginning of the interrogation. She's she's acting. She, I mean, she wait, wait. she deserves a, a Oscar. She's walking. Yes. That's for yeah. for one. She is walking. Uh-huh. Right? Yeah. yeah. Um, which was what kind of threw a monkey bar inside the investigation mm -hmm. is what the investigators were saying uh -huh. prior. Yeah. Yep. Now, she starts off immediately lying as if she doesn't know what happened. She had no clue her mother wasn't alive. Mm -hmm. She was not even upset that her mother had passed. She was like, wait a minute. Yeah. yeah. Wait. Yeah. Yeah. But I also took note, like, she was smiles when the officer came in. Yeah. The the voice was a little little bit more high-pitched than it was now, mm -hmm. you know. Um, she was very agreeable, you know, just, hey, how are you? Like, she was there, you know, ordering a pizza, you know. So, right. 
pretending like she doesn't know what's going on. No, yeah, right, yeah. right, uh -huh, right. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Uh, meanwhile, Nicholas Garjan is being held as mm -hmm, well. Mm -hmm. And so they're interrogating Gypsy at this point, and this is what happens. Mm -hmm. Uh... <laughs> You know, I know Dee Dee is sitting there. Whether she's in heaven or hell, we don't know. Because we know not everybody goes to heaven. And we'd be fools to think that. We don't know. But wherever she's at, mm -hmm. I'm sure she sits and looks at that. Because I, I truly believe she villainized her mom more than what she was. Yeah. I'm not saying that she was not. She was a good person. I don't believe that. Mm -hmm. But I think she was villainized a lot more than what she was. But that's just my opinion. I might yeah. be wrong. Well, I mean, she, you know, one minute she loved her mom. Next minute, you know, she was a nightmare. So. And what I thought was interesting is throughout this interrogation, mm -hmm. not one time did she mention that her mother was abusive, mm -hmm. that anyone was abusing her. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, not yeah. one time did she even say, you know, I wanted to call and get away. She kept saying, I wanted to be with Nick mm. but really I think it was Dan mm. where's Dan <laughs> where's Dan right now Dan's locked up right now I think he got 10 years or something like that your boy got some time Ooh. Mm -hmm. but Dan said he better she better stay away from him mm. I heard through the grapevines that that's what that means say okay so Gypsy if you don't know you are blocked <laughs> child you know, we love a good old block yes. button, right? It's blocking, yes, yes, yes. Okay, all right. So she did. She did mention in there. She started talking about how mom didn't let her use the laptop because it was unsafe, and she's telling him how she didn't really have a phone. This is all stuff she's telling Nick. And she met Nick on a Christian dating uh -huh, site. That's uh -huh. the irony of this all. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So if you think you want a Christian yeah, yeah. safe yeah. on a Christian dating yeah. site, child, think again. <laughs> The devil is everywhere. There are unalivers <laughs> on there, baby. Okay. Oh, gosh. But, yeah, she kept um, snowballing him, meaning, like, just taking him around in circles. And, and I think it was up to, like, what, 25 minutes in or so. He kept bringing her back around to say, okay, we need to, like, get to, like, the story. Like, tell, you know, like, what's the story? Right. You know, and right. she'll come say something. She'll divert off here, divert off there. 25 minutes she's still she holding right. strong she's she's committed she is committed she said she lies. wasn't finna uh admit to yeah no on a lot of her mom no okay no no not at all she was she was not gonna do that every time she had an opportunity to talk she's still defending right so right. that was the time for her to say the abuse and mm -hmm, all that mm -hmm. and so the fact that she had never said that yeah. made me question the validity mm -hmm. but honestly she's a great actress oh and gypsy if you are here mm. listen you should be taking acting classes with the talent that you have you out here doing the wrong thing, baby. You shouldn't be on reality TV. Mm -hmm. You need to be in Hollywood for real, girl. Because that acting, yeah. you deserve a standing ovation, yeah. baby. A yeah. standing ovation yeah. for that. She's, she's very good at ad-libbing and yeah, just, you she know, just improv. And she, yeah, she was yeah. she was good at that. Yeah. I, I can't even lie. She yeah. was good. Tears. We got the one woman tears, too. You know, So we had everything Shout. in there. It was a little mix of everything in there. In the first, like, 30 minutes of the video we watched. So Yeah, I mean, she... When she said, wait, mm, what? Yeah. Yeah, rewind that. What Me, is this Gypsy? <laughs> it didn't even seem like it was really the real Gypsy Rose that we had heard, mm -hmm. you know, her mama pass. Mm -hmm. She was like, hold up. What? Was that not the same gangster Gypsy that's online? Telling people they could come find her. That's not the same person that was in the interrogation room. That's, that's, yeah. that's not. That's not her. Baby, she said she was in Lake Charles. Come get it if you want to. Pull up or get out. That's what she said. Pull up, child. Get out. Okay. Okay. Now she did mention in there that gangsters paradise. <laughs> she did mention her mom has guardianship papers. Which has been determined to be a fib. Oh, that too. Mm hmm Oh, okay. Huh. Mm-hmm. 
Allegedly, of course, for yeah. educational purposes only. Okay, but she did mention that. Because these are things she's trying to stray off and say just mm -hmm. to avoid the story, mm -hmm. you know? Because I think essentially... If you really listen to her, you realize that the entire time she is saying mm -hmm. that it's control. Mm. The whole time she's basically saying, um, you know, she she knows nothing. To be mm. honest with you, I don't think they got that much out of that investigation. Mm. You know, because mm -hmm. she never really admitted anything. They mm -hmm. had already had the information because yes. they kind of coerced Nick right. into admitting mm -hmm. whatever. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, and Gypsy lied through the entire investigation, similar to the way she has lied pretty much through her whole life. Yeah. You know, but she never once mentioned that her mother was mad. But what I did think was interesting was that she said, her mother said if she wanted to leave, she could leave. She didn't have to stay. Mm -hmm. yeah, we, we and she told Nicholas Godejean, his mom and his stepdad, in another interrogation, mm -hmm. that she was kicked out of the house. So they believed that Nicholas thought he was going to go get her. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. He knew that he was going to have to do something with her mom. Mm. But Nicholas thought he was going to go get her to move in with him. So there is a lot that people don't know. And these are all clips that you guys are going to see. We're going to play them throughout. This is going to be a pretty long video because we're going to play different clips. Mm -hmm. You guys are going to be able to see it. Mm -hmm. But honestly, it's sad. I'm just pondering. You, you think you're going to go help a friend move and then you end up killing somebody? That's wild. You want to tell me how that didn't end up how you thought it was. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Think about like a quick switch of me back. This is wild. You know, child. I didn't have my killer shoes on. I was right. just coming to help you move. He like, said, he, said he, he just wanted to take her and run. But see, <laughs> see she had been constantly pressuring him to mm -hmm. unalive her mom. Yeah. So he kind of knew it was going to go down. Mm. But he said that Gypsy didn't believe that he would do it. So I think part of him, mm. part of him felt like he had to do it because Gypsy didn't feel like he was going to do it. The irony is basically she paid for that man's bus ticket. Paid? She paid for his hotel. Oh, I was going to say she paid for the night. No, she stole he, She stole the night. Yes. Okay. Yeah. yeah so yeah. basically it's murder for hire. I mean, honestly, if once Nicholas gets this appeal, mm -hmm. I wouldn't be surprised if that's a charge that they add on to her because it was murder for hire. Whether or not you know, it was the plane, the bus ticket or not. Mm -hmm. That's literally murder for hire. She also paid with her. Punani. I told you, I already thought she was a Craigslist baddie. <laughs> I don't care what nobody says. <laughs> she was out there. She said she was celibate. She was selling a bitch. Yeah. yeah. Okay. She paid with a little loving, you know. Oh, I'm pretty sure of that. Like, can't nobody tell me yeah. differently. That little, girl was. A little reward for your good work. And the fact that you could have sleep with him right, right after, after. Mm -hmm. you unalived your mama. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You a cold piece of work, daddy. Woo, <laughs> <Okay. laughs> you go. Whoa. Yeah. yeah that you. man said he, could, he, he couldn't even get out because he was so, like, the whole time. He said, I, I just couldn't. Meanwhile, Gypsy, like, let's get to the. Let's, let's get to this, baby. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Now, also, mm -hmm. I don't know if you know this, the taxi driver mm -hmm. said they interviewed him. Gypsy was in control over Nick the entire time. Mm. Wait, how so? How so? As in she was bossing him around. Ah. He, she was kind of telling him what to do, how mm -hmm. to do it, when mm -hmm. to do it, that mm -hmm. kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, so mm -hmm. it shows who she really was. And she tries to act like he was the dominant one. Mm -hmm. um, and that just wasn't what it was. But don't we see the same thing with Ryan, too? She showed her dominance with, with right. Ryan. Right, and, and Ken mm -hmm. as well. I can't tell you why I say with Ken. Mm -hmm. I can't tell y'all that. But I will tell you firsthand. I have personally seen it. Mm -hmm. I have vowed to secrecy, so I mm -hmm. can't talk about it. But okay. just know. She's running things. Mm -hmm. This is her show. Ooh, child. Okay. All it's right. called a gypsy show, honey. Ooh.
Oh, it's the gypsy. <laughs> Should you have listened to her? Okay. Should you? She tried to 
stop him. Was he too strong? He was very strong. Was it hard for you to try to stop him? <laughs> it was very hard for you to try to stop him, wasn't it? <laughs> He's too strong, wasn't he? Yeah, I see that. Look at me. Did you try to stop him? Step in my direction. Okay. How, how did you try to stop him? Did you try to pull the knife away from him? Was that a yes? I can't get. I can't guess with your head with your nodding. So that's why I'm asking. You looks like you're shaking your head up and down. Is that a yes? Yes. Okay. What did he do with the knife after all this was done? I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you. I love him so much, but maybe he can get help now. Okay. I'm like, you Maybe he can. He, he killed my mom. He killed your mom. He knows, I know it. Um. How did he do that? Um. He was supposed to come and visit me. Okay. And, um. And I, I thought we were going to go outside and we're just going to sit together for a while on the porch. And then at your mom's house? Yeah. Okay. And um, he, he came inside and um, he, he started walking to, um, to my mom's room and I, I told him that he needed to go outside. We need to go outside. Um, what was your mom doing at that point? Was she asleep or She was asleep. Okay. And I had got up to use the restroom. And at that point, um, he had put me in the bathroom. And he had locked the door. Okay. And um, he went to my mom's room. And I You heard your mom crying, and you heard your mom calling out your name. Mm -hmm. she, and she was screaming. She was screaming. where she was defending 
or she wasn't really so much defending. He, the, the police was kind of talking about Nick, mm -hmm. and then she was kind of saying that he wanted to be her hero, and then he would do anything for her, right. that sort of thing. Yes. Yeah, and then it kind of drifted into, you know, he did it. And like then it kind of drifted. But she into, also said initially she didn't know anything about it. She was shocked. Yes. And then now it's I yeah. mean, she carried the whole interrogation yeah. right. on her back right, as right. a damn lot. Right, right, <laughs> okay. right, right. She did start off with she didn't know anything. And then Nick did it. He's a monster. Then we got into how he raped her and this whole story. And that was told she proven to be a lie. Um and for some reason you all tend to believe Gypsy. Now, I don't know if... You know, my mama always told me a liar is a thief, too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. If you, if you could lie, you could Remember, cheat. Remember, she steals on wheels. Yeah. You could cheat, you could steal. And if you steal, you could kill. All the above. So... So that's where I say y'all need to read the writing on the wall mm -hmm. because it's all there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, this mm -hmm. entire t interrogation, to be honest with you, was... First of all, did you see at one point she was taking a nap? No. Gypsy took a nap in this interrogation. She was tired. That's to tell you how much she... Killing people in Gypsy Boston. Gypsy thought she was going to the house at the end. She <laughs> said, could she go get her luggage and her money? Like, no, girl, you finna go to the big house. What you thought this was? That's a lot of energy to do what she did. I mean, let's be honest. That's a lot of energy. She needed a nap. She needed to lay down. There's a lot going on in her brain. So, I mean, I would take a nap, too. I got to. <laughs> when homegirl said, can she go get her luggage? I was like, you think you finna take that to the prison? She's home. I mean, she's going home. You know? Murder? What murder? She just lied for like, what was it, the full 12 hour investigation? That girl was tired. So yeah, she need to go home and take a nap. I get you. I get you. She did not believe that you was not going to believe her. That's some skill. That's some talent. That's narcissism is what it is. You're so cr crazy and delusional yeah. Yeah. that you believe people don't even believe what's really in front yeah. of them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's, that's, that's talent. Mm -hmm. That's a very talented person. And you know, sometimes you're like, I wish I could be that delusional because do you know the amount of things you can do when you're that delusional? Because you believe the sky truly is the damn limit. Yeah. It's true. I mean, your girl's cold. I, I'm telling you, if Gypsy was to use her talents for good, yeah, yeah, that's true. Gypsy would be somebody, <laughs> baby. Yes, yes. Just know that she would be somebody for real. Yes, I believe. Not yeah. like for play, play. Yeah. I mean, she for would real. be a big yeah. somebody. Yeah, because yeah. Gypsy has talent. <laughs> we can't even lie and say that girl don't have talent. That girl has. Talent, that baby. Some special skills. If you really watch that girl. Yeah, I mean, really the way she believes. was acting, I said, yes. if I really didn't know, I would have been like, yeah. If you didn't see everything you've seen about her, when you watched this, you would have believed her. Yes. Absolutely. Until the officer was like, cut the shit. Yeah. That's when yeah. he was like, wait, mm -hmm. hold up. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yep. Hold up. Yep. Yep. She was sticking to that story, boy. She said, baby, yeah. you're not finna take me back mm -hmm. behind mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. here. Crying on cue. And no handcuffs or nothing. Yeah. Okay, baby? She had that. She had it solid. So I'm like, she do need to teach a class. She said, ah! yes. Yes. Ah! No, no. When she found out the mother, the mother, she's dead. Wait, wait a minute. Wait. Yeah. Wait, what? Joe. It's whew. and Mother's Day is coming up, so this is a perfect video for this time in honor of. Well, we all have mothers to say Happy Mother's Day to. How about that? Yeah. Wow. We ain't still no knives, baby, to go get mama. She got. She's got. Um. What's his name? Ken's mom. It's Ryan's mom. Ken's mama said, claim <laughs> she ain't never seen 
her family, mm-hmm. Gypsy family. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And remember where his mama said she was a Christian. Yeah. yeah. And then now she claimed she not a Christian. She's the I forgot the name that you said. The A G. Uh, dang, what do you? No. Um. But now she claims she's not a Christian. Mm. She she kind of believes in everything and respects all religions. Mm. But I feel like any religion should be respecting all religions. So believe what you want to believe. Mm. But she's even switching up her story now. Did she clearly say she was child? A listen, I'm gonna leave that right where it's at because I don't really want to say anything disrespectful to his mother. No. And you know they're gonna try to villainize me and be like Nina. Is bullying his mama and listen I'm just speaking truth okay honey that is what I do is speak the truth yeah. but for some reason speaking the truth is bullying that's weird yeah like she switched religions in 30 days maybe she was reflecting honey and God said what are you doing right. in the kingdom yes <laughs> she, she, she said she stopped going to church and everybody <laughs> that little finger and humbly walked out she said let me she let said me get out of here. you know what i just realized i was lost <laughs> and i have found my way outside child <laughs> let me head on out she oh, said she got like spongebob and, and let me get on out of here get on out of here girl child i don't know what his mama meant by that i just know that's what she said mm. And it is what it is. That's just, that's my take on it. Yeah. So, yeah, I still had the police was asking for literally, well, from the video we saw, 30 minutes into that video, he's still asking her why. And she is just literally skating past. Oh, Gypsy said, uh, can you hurry up so, we, <laughs> so I can go get my luggage, baby? <laughs> I don't have time for this. this You've been holding me in here for yeah. too long. Yeah. I have things to do. Yeah. My brain would hurt if somebody did, for th- that clip was just thirty minutes. So I don't know how long. And he was nice. He was like yeah. sweetheart, and yes, yes. he was like really nice yeah. to her. Mm-hmm. And I think once he realized she was gonna keep running that game, he started to get. He, the man started to boss up. Yeah, yeah. He was like, okay. Yeah, I've been doing this too long. Yeah, he knows some BS. The man stood it. up and was like, "You not gonna play on my top." <laughs> he was like. I know you think my name is a fool. Do right. you think I have this career right. by playing the dummy? Right, right, right. Like, girl, I investigate whole crimes. Yeah. Like, Not today, sweetheart, okay? Not today. Just just cough it up. Cough it up. So, yeah, eventually she started talking. And her and Nicholas Gautajan looked very similar at that arrest. Yeah, they did. They did. I thought they was twins. They did. <laughs> they, did. they sure did. Yeah. I was like, wait, which one is Gypsy? <laughs> Girl, yeah, so I, you know, I don't know. She she went into the whole thing after she admitted it, like literally went from how sweet he is and he's a great guy to he's controlling, he raped her, you know. And I'm just like, wow, this is a roller coaster. But then she said said the same thing about her mama doing it that yeah. she was con- kind of controlling. Yes. She never said actually. She never said she was abused, but she said that. She didn't want her to be with Nick. Right. Mm-hmm. She, you know, wanted her to make better decisions. Mm-hmm. But she never said her mama was abusing her. Yeah. That was never anything mm-hmm. that was said. And we we talked about how she did have the option to leave. Absolutely. She could have called her dad. Yeah. She didn't call her daddy. She could have called Christy. Did you see the video that I posted of Christy uh, putting on Gypsy shoes in L.A.? Literally, Gypsy was going like this, and Christy was putting on her shoes. I said, Christy said, you know what she did to her last mama, baby? So I'm finna just put on these shoes, honey. What you want me to do, massa Gypsy? Maybe she saw our last video when we were like, oh, you better watch your back. <laughs> Christy said, I want to wake up tomorrow. So whatever I got to do to get up tomorrow, I'm finna do it. Right. Gypsy, what you need, baby? Right. She don't want that smoke. No, ma'am. She said, no. Oh, well, that's her cash cow, too, right now, too, right? Oh, you know Christy. So, all about the dollar, honey. Yeah. Christy done got her hair cut, so she thinks she fly. Oh, okay. She got her little hair cut. Her, mm-hmm. I, I guess she got a flat iron or something. Mm-hmm. She okay. look a little put together. Oh, all right. Came out of that 1,300 square foot. Girl, she's still in a 1,300 square foot. I mean, came outside. You know. Outside she, to get she the She's not looking cut. through the window. Maybe. You know, yeah. 
Girl, I'm but telling you. But Gypsy did look cold when she was in L.A., baby. She yeah. slayed with that uh, red outfit on. Yeah. She had a little pink dress on. She slayed that, honey. Gypsy was looking cute, baby. <laughs> she did a whole tour over there. I know she, she said, look. Uh-huh. 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 It's Gypsy uh -huh. Rose, and I have yeah. arrived yeah. in L.A., baby. Yeah. Look at me. And if you don't know who I am, by the time I get out of LAX, <laughs> you going to remember me, honey bunny. Wow. Wow. But is, was she promoting the book, too? or what? No, was, okay. the Lifetime series. So oh, Lifetime okay. Okay, okay, okay. probably flew her out there. Okay. She said she wanted to meet Joey King, but she's so slow. She don't realize Joey King don't want no parts for Gypsy Rose, baby. It is not good for my career, love. <laughs> If I ever want to be on another show, mm -hmm. I can't affiliate with you, baby. She also mm -hmm. said she wanted to meet Taylor Swift, love. Oh. So there's that. But let's go on with mm -hmm. these notes. Yeah, that's the you know that's where we got up to um, with the first section here. So um, just you know the 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 way she was able to just. Holding the, I mean, it's a murder. This is a murder. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, like, let's not forget. You know, I feel like she was acting like she stole yes, the ice cream yes, off the ice cream truck. Yeah, she just and didn't, didn't want to get in trouble. It. She yeah. want no parts of it. Yeah, it yeah. was definitely much deeper than yes. that, and I think it's definitely something that should have been spoken on. Yeah. Uh, Mm -hmm. But honey, we will be back with yeah. the next part. So we're going to put clips in between this. Mm -hmm. And we hope you guys enjoy it. Mm -hmm. um, and we hope we bring awareness. Yes. I will also attach um, the petition for Nicholas Godeshan. I believe he needs to have a fair day in court. Yeah. I am not saying he should be out here in the free world. Mm -hmm. But I do believe he should have his fair day in court. Mm -hmm. He should be sent to a mental health in institution. Mm -hmm. At that point, they can do a... Um, basically a course of action for him, yeah. a treatment plan, and mm -hmm. then decide what should happen from there. Mm -hmm. But I do believe he needs to have his fair day in court because if Gypsy could be out here and gallivanting while she's in a mental health patient, basically, you know, Nicholas Godejean should have the same, he should yeah, have an opportunity have as right. well. Yeah. Yeah. So um, yep. mm -hmm. I want you guys to sign that petition. Yep. I will drop the link down below. Mm -hmm. <sighs> You guys have a great day. We'll see you next Thanks time. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye for now.